tell me if you've seen these videos before. Chrono or Moose said DLC 11. Xenoverse 2 DLC 11. Xenoverse 2 DLC 11. If you spot the issue with all three of these videos, then congratulations. You can stop watching the video. So for those who are unfamiliar, I am a hardcore Dragon Ball fan. It's my number one favorite anime of all time, right above One Piece and Pretty Cure. My favorite game in the franchise is easily Budokai Zenkaichi 3, easily the best video game in the franchise, so of course I'm hyped as hell when I saw the trailers for the upcoming fourth entry, Sparkin' Zero aka Budokai Zenkaichi 4. I'll get into more of that for another day, but for now, let's jump into the main topic. People in the Xenoverse 2 community considers Supreme Kaya Time as the 11th DLC. I'll explain why that's false and I'll also talk about one specific YouTuber later on in the video. But for those who don't know, Supreme Kaya Time was added to Xenoverse 2 as part of an event called the Kantan City Tournament, where you fight against strong enemies in order to unlock her, as well as her skill set. And just want to make this clear, you don't fight against actual players, you just fight against computers. This event happens once every few months, so you'll have multiple chances to get her. However, when she was added into the game as an update, lots of Dragon Ball YouTubers lumped her in as DLC, which is extremely misleading. I can't believe I even have to explain the difference between DLC and updates. DLC is short for downloadable content, where they add extra content for people to purchase for a specific game, whether it be extra characters, maps, etc. However, with updates, you have to update the game in order to get the latest in-game content. And in this case, people had to update the game in order to participate in the Supreme Kai Time event, a limited time event that occurs once every few months. So tell me, how is that considered DLC? You tell me. But if you thought that was dumb, it doesn't come close to a certain dumbass in the Xenoverse 2 community. If you don't know who Slowplay is, then congratulations, you've done a good job not knowing. But he's a YouTuber who's also been part of the Xenoverse 2 community and it still is. Now almost two years ago, during the upcoming Content City Vote Pack, he made a post promoting one of his clickbait videos with the caption, New DLC Pack 14 CAC. So I asked him why call the Vote Pack DLC 14 when it's really 13, and here's his snarky response. It's the 14th major update. It's just been easier to call it DLC Pack 14. Call it whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. And then he also responded to someone agreeing with him, saying, Exactly. I don't know why people care about me and the rest of the community calls it. DLC is DLC. Call it whatever you feel. It's the 14th major update. I shouldn't have to explain this, lamal. Now, let's fact check all the bullshit said here. Firstly, slow. It's not a major update, it's a DLC pack. So stop trying to make it seem like it's an update when you're just downloading extra content that's bundled into one package. Downloading DLC is not the same equivalent as updating a game to its newest version. Secondly, I and the minority care because you and many other Xenoverse YouTubers have been misleading with these false titles, trying to lump the Supreme Kai Time event into the DLC category when it's really a major update. And to add to it, do you really have to milk it by making the same damn video every time the Supreme Kai of Time event comes back? A simple community post on your channel was simple enough. Even a Twitter post is good enough too. Now, let me make this clear. I don't hate slow plays. I don't respect him as a content creator, but I don't hate the guy. Plus, there are way worse people in the Xenoverse 2 community than him. And he's not the only one with the clickbait content. But hey, if you enjoy his content, then keep enjoying it. But regardless of how you feel about this whole ordeal, Supreme Kai Time is not DLC. 